Okay, so uh, we need to catch some fish, uh, some small fish from the, the river. And uh, so we're going to make a fish trap. So there's a lot of uh, uh, articles or pictures online or videos showing you how to do a fish trap with a, just a, a, a Coke bottle, right? So basically, with Coke bottle, you just cut off the top like this and reverse it, put it like, like a reverse funnel and then staple it back. The right. problem with that is, first of all, Coke bottle, I think it's pretty small. You can probably only catch like the fingernails, right? And the fish well, I'm not going to catch probably is larger than that. And secondly, um, uh, there's no way, nowhere to put a handle, so you, how are you going to pull this up? So I think milk, milk bottle is better because it has a handle already. And it has a funnel, and we could cut it off and put it back, like reverse it, reverse it and staple it back. But I'm thinking if we do uh, just press this down, the funnel will be just pressed down, forming a re reverse funnel and the entrance where the fish can get in. And then when we try to get the fish out, we simply just pull it back and just pour the fish out. That's much better than trying to put your hand in the, in the inside the funnel and try to get the fish out. So that's my idea anyway. So let's try this. First, to push it down, let's see how far it goes. It's not very easy. See? It's not very easy. Especially with the handle here. So, if, what if we make some perforated line around the edge? Would that be easier? And with this bottle cap off, probably air can escape. Probably better. So let's try to do it with some perforated lines. So if you want to do it here, let's just cut. So we're gonna do it right from this side. Fold better, right? That's fold better now. Still, we need to push this part down as well. So let's put perforated line on this side as well. Be careful not to put too much, too many holes in there. You might just take the entire top off. But since this is a milk bottle, you have always another one lying around, right? This is kind of like the idea. And now, I'm going to cut the top off. So, depending on how big the fish you're trying to catch is, I think this is about the size of the fish and you might want to get a smaller one if you want to catch this small fingerling. So the problem is this handle is too high. I think it's well enough for fish to get in, right? Hopefully for the size of the fish we're gonna catch. Not deep enough. I think the fish can still swim out. 
the idea of the funnel is it's deep enough so that it's the fish try to find this hole but they, they keep hitting the wall here so they can't get out easily. I think this should work well enough. And we'll, we'll try this and it's a trial and error basically. We'll try and see if this works for us. And the next step, of course, we'll put bait in here. Right? We'll try to find uh, First of all, we try to make this sink to the bottom. Depending on the depth of the fish you're trying to catch, for me, it's probably near the bottom, or at least two meters down the surface. So we're gonna put some pebbles here to weigh it down, and then put the bait in here. Again, depending on what the kind of fish you're gonna catch. Well, the fish I'm trying to catch is uh, is the uh, kind of vegetarian fish. So I'm gonna use flour, like just make a nice flour ball, right? and uh, with some peanut butter to make it more smelly and to catch them, that is the lure. And if you're trying to catch the uh, like meat-eating fish, you might want to tie a bunch of uh, worms and put it in there. And that next, I'm going to put a lot of holes on the side and bottom. The reason is when you have this full of water and fish is in there, you try to put it up quickly so that fish will not escape from the side. So you want to try to put it up fast. So to reduce the water drag, just put it on the hose, make this kind of like, like sit. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to do that. And then, lastly, I'm gonna to try to put a rope to tie it on the handle, so that we can use it to pull up this trap. Okay, okay so got a, a Dremel with the drill bit to put hose on the side and the bottom. If you don't have a Dremel, of course, you can use anything. Uh, it's Dremel just makes it looking nicer. So let's do this. Oh. Not as easy as it looks. Good enough. Make sure got the pin is shape. Okay. Press this handle down really nice. Make the hole easily accessible. I think if it's relatively big fish, once it gets in, it's pretty hard to get out. So we're safe there. Like I said, put paddle, pebbles in there to weigh it down, put bait in there. Um, you probably want to, to prevent the bait from floating out of the hole. You probably put the bait 
maybe tie it on the pebble or something, tie it to, to something to weigh it down as well. Okay, now let's put on the rope. Just tie it on the handle. So, I don't have to tie it really nicely, but let's try it. Do the same as the fisherman's like. Try to do it like uh, tying a uh, fishing fishing hook, I guess. Do it like this. One, two, three. Okay, three is good enough. Go through here. And go back to the loop. This is how you tie a fishing hook. Don't know if it works as well on this, uh, this thicker rope, but uh, hopefully. Oh, I guess this rope is too uh, cottony. We probably need better rope. Anyway, that's the idea. So just put enough rope here, about depending on the depth of the fish you want to catch. Maybe uh, get a two or three meter rope and, uh, and put this in the water. And we'll try to film how we catch the fish later. Okay, so here's this one in practice. So we have this milk bottle, milk jug uh, fish trap. So as you can see, I put it in the water and make sure it's uh, sideways because it's easy to catch fish um, from the sideways other than entering from the top so try to pull it make it lying sideways and i don't know if you can see the fish are around it what i use is a flower uh, as a bait in the bait cage inside this jug and once you see the fish going in just pull pull the line and I'll show you what I got here. This is the one we just got. We're gonna keep getting more out of this.